All right, let's get right into it here. Market is pretty much flat for the day. Looks like 0.07% positive. But what really happened though throughout the entire day here on the uh, spider, as you can see, that micro term is giving a lot of uh, pressure here for the buyers. You can see a couple days ago or a couple sessions ago. Uh, there's a micro term there micro term is here micro term is there micro term here i think on friday we even gap up right not able to stay above the micro term we fade it back down and then you see how it continues to do well it was actually this morning this morning we gapped up not not that friday this is a friday's action this is today uh, we gapped up this morning, faded, and then you can see how buyers are trying to get above it. And finally, we lost the, or we got rejected on the micro term on that fourth hour. You can see right here, we did see that continuation to the downside on the fifth hour. Guess where it landed to? Obviously, it came down to the gap area. Perfect. Right. Obviously, uh, that's the support. That's the support that bulls needed to uh, protect. So as of today, the gap is still remaining. Gap from Friday morning here, that gap is still remaining. On the last hour, we did see that ramp to the upside. So we're actually back at the micro term. So the micro term needs to be broken. Bulls are looking to reprogram that micro term so that they can uh, utilize this for support. As you can see, ever since we lost that micro term right here, you see that right here. I think what's really important right now is that 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 oscillator resistance here here and it is attempting to break out so you see how that oscillator looks you see how there's a little bit of a um, uh you know pause here right it was riding the upside and you see that top of the os or the second line here on that oscillator or the uh, fast line on that oscillator the blue line here you see how it kind of flattened out because if we did not see the last hour run up today let's say on the last hour we saw something like this let's just say right we saw continuation to the downside and the gap let's just say was filled we would have seen that oscillator curling down right on that resistance you see but because of the last hour move that oscillator is now breaking or at least it's poking his head up right on that falling resist on that oscillator so right now everything is set up only thing goals require is to break above this micro term moving average once for all, especially the way the market move on the last hour, it would really benefit the buyers to jumpstart this thing. If we do see a gap up, maybe something like this, perfect above the micro term, and we don't want to see any kind of shenanigan fade like that. We want to see a gap up. It doesn't have to be really big. It just has to be. Uh, decent size where it stays above the micro term and that gap needs to be sustained uh, and there's a great if we do see something like that we're gonna and, and we do need to see that gap sustained throughout the at least in a couple hours or so uh, then you will see that oscillator continuing to travel to the upside break fully breaking out of this resistance and we should see the market continuing to travel to the upside all-time high level there for 533 possibly beyond perfect everything looks bullish right now only thing possibly can kill this setup is some kind of a abrupt sell-off on the first hour or some kind of shenanigan down gap or something like that where you might see this oscillator whip sign back down what i think we have a lower probability of that that we do have a probably i mean obviously you have to make sure to understand uh, uh, shenanigans is just part of just it's a wild card it, it doesn't matter where we're at it's always gonna happen without notice now the reason i mention it because everything looks bullish right now only thing is gonna slow things down is if, if the price is still underneath the micro term and still struggle to break above it and somehow that oscillator whips us back down as long as we see a follow-through tomorrow those are ready for another run up all time high and beyond